here you go. It's the start of the year for the uh, Tetra Panics uh, Ceroidal Giant, the uh, rice paper plant, Tetra Panics uh, papyrifera. This is the one that gets the huge leaves and it has resumed growing for the year. This is my tallest one. Kind of suffered last year. I think it might have been due to that early heat dome. It just never seemed to really kind of recover from that. Pops around the base. Kind of pull these guys out, pot them up. Over here, this is uh this was a pop actually off of that one of my Tetra Panics. Got a little bit of a jog there, but oh you can see it straightening itself out. This one's a little bit further along, gets a little more sun. Uh, it is an excellent rich soil, and I think that is really the big difference. This one did not get phased as much last year, but it also gets protection from the afternoon, the hottest uh, sun by that Southern Magnolia there. So there you go, starting up. And number three, this is a pup that ran all the way from, you know, 16 feet away. And that one's, <laughs> that one's got a bit of a jog in it too. We're actually leaving this one here. I just kind of like it in the spot, so. I'll compete with the waggy, but it should uh, be over top of that waggy in no time. Okay. And my weakest one, which hates this spot. Right there. So that one is definitely behind. And there are some pups in here somewhere. They're underneath that fern. So there you go. That's uh, kind of how you're... Tetrapanics, papyrifera, steroidal giant should be looking at this time of year. We're about to get an interesting weather system that's moving in today. But there you go. So I'm going to try and fertilize this one because last year had a very poor showing. The leaves were quite small in comparison to previous years. So, anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching.